We're now going to talk about half-life, a specific model used for radioactive decay. How long does it take something to grow to half of its size? To go from 100 grams to 50 grams, or from 50 grams to 25 grams, how long does that take? And so to find that, we're going to take our default formula, the log of AT over A0, and we're going to set that equal to KT. And remember that for half-life, we want to know when a of t is half of the original, so we just plug that in. So we get 1 half a naught over a naught equals kt. So natural log of 1 half, because the a naughts go away. And that's the same as the natural log, minus the natural log of 2 equals kt. So to find my half-life, t, and I'm going to use h instead. h is going to be my t for half-life. And so we get the formula that h equals minus the natural log of 2 over k. And so once I know what k is, then I can find my half-life. So let's look at a particular example. We have 100 grams of the radioactive element, strontium-90, and it decayed to 66 grams in 15 years. So to find its half-life, the first thing I have to do is find k. And so our formula is the natural log of at over a naught equals kt. Well, we know at in this case is 66. That's over 100. And that's going to be equal to kt. But t is 15, so this is equal to 15k. So we put the 15 on the bottom. And k equals the natural log of 66 over 100 over 15. And here's an exact answer. That's where I'd stop if I didn't have a calculator. But I do have a calculator, so I'm going to do 66 over 100. We're going to take the natural log of that, and we're going to divide that by 15. And notice this is negative. It's decreasing. I'm going to store that in memory so I can come back to it later. But this is approximately equal to minus 0 0.02770. To get my half-life, h is equal to minus the natural log of 2 over k. So we're going to do 2 natural log minus, and I'm going to divide that by what my recall amount. And so that says that its half-life, h, is approximately 25.02 years. Every 25.02 years, the strontium-90 decays to half of the size it started as. And so that's how we can use this formula to solve for half-life.